To measure horizontal angles by the repetition method, first set the theodolite at point O. and cite the primary point of the horizontal angle. Then, turn the upper fixing screw and the upper tangent screw to match the zero zero mark of the vernier with the corresponding mark of the main scale. Next, turn the lower screw loose to rotate the two plates as one to the secondary point of the horizontal angle. Keeping the lower clamp fixed, turn the upper fixing screw loose. Check the reading on the instrument and record the value. Now you must begin the steps of repetition by changing the position of the telescope. So, loosen the lower clamp and transit the telescope. Keeping the angular reading fixed at the initial value, rotate the plate unit and point to back side. Turn the lower clamping screw tight. Then, use the lower tangent screw to point accurately to the back side. Note that the telescope is inverted and aligned to the back side. As you can see, the initial angle reading remains set on the horizontal surface. Now, turn the upper clamp loose, rotate the upper plate and point at foresight. Finally, turn the upper clamp tight and use the upper tangent screw to complete foresight pointing. The vernier reading shows the angular measurement as equal to the sum of the first and the second angle. Divide this sum by 2, that is, the number of repetitions, to find the average value of the angle. Note that you can get a precise reading of the angle by this method. So, remember, these are the steps in measuring the horizontal angle by the method of repetition.